So good evening. My name is Harry Strauss, and I'm part of the Horizon faculty here. At Horizon, we have a number of students that are from Nigeria and Ghana, and some are associated with the Redeemed Christian Church of God. The main Saskatoon church meets in the Broadway area on East Lake, uh, close to the river. So a little over a year ago, I had caused to visit the church, which has uh, three services on Sunday mornings, with the first at 7.45 a.m., I thought to myself, who's going to church at 7.45 a.m.? I also thought something really good has to be happening if you have to have three services with the first one starting at 7.45. And indeed, not only with, church, with the church, but also across the city and the province. The overall ministry has expanded to 28 churches or parishes is the language that they use uh, across the province and with uh, 11 of those in the Saskatoon area. About 2,000 people are associated with the Saskatoon and area ministry. So I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a lot of growth across Africa. And my sense on this is African growth has spilled over into our prairie setting. So Pastor Jiddy Oyatuga and his wife Alaomi are here with us, as well as Pastor Brandon, who is part of their team. Pastor Brandon, if you would wave. And um, Alaomi, if you would wave as well. And then Pastor Ayo, who's right up here in the front, he is here and part of the leadership team as well. So we wanted you to meet Pastor Jiddy. So Pastor Jiddy, if you would join me up here, and I'm going to ask him two or three questions just so you get a little bit acquainted with him and the ministry that they're involved in. So, Pastor Jiddy, to see the ministry expand to 28 churches since uh, 2003, if I understand right, obviously calls for leadership, uh, and God is the one who calls, we understand that, but obviously there's a human factor in this as well. So the question is, uh, like, what are you doing and what are your people doing in contributing to the process of cultivating leadership? Because there are, you got pastors and leaders with all of these churches, so what are you doing to cultivate that leadership? Well, I will say back from home, like we are privileged to be here in the first instance because my father was, my father served seven different gods. But I've come to know the only true God. And since then, the Lord has been keeping us and him, the Bible school, College we went to back at home, trained us to make Christ Jesus first. And we've been, since we came to Canada, we've been training leaders and establishing parishes so that the mandate we have is to make sure that there is a parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God in all, all town and all cities of Saskatchewan. And God has been helping us. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Chitty. So um, Horizon is involved in training some of that leadership. So as we move forward, what role do you see Horizon playing with present and future leadership for the redeemed Christian church here in the province? Um, the Horizon College and Seminary is actually going to be filling a major role for us because um, as part of the leadership training, we, we go through training people from when they walk in through the church, preparing them for the assignment, which is ultimately to launch them out. And they have to go through certain stages and processes, which of course the Bible college certification is a must for them to be ordained as an assistant pastor or as a full pastor. And, uh, the Redeemed Church has a Bible college in in U.S., but now they have certified Horizon College and Seminary. Uh, so every of our pastors here or leaders to be can actually go through the Horizon College because it's now been certified, and they will accept their the certification here for their uh, appointment as leaders in the church. Yeah, neat. That's neat. And uh, again, we have a handful of students from Nigeria and Ghana. So I think about Goodwill Iki, and um, he came over from Nigeria two and a half years ago. And his wife and kids just came over uh, just 
just about a month or two ago, but they were separated for almost two and a half years, largely because of COVID. But Goodwill will be our graduate in next spring, and Goodwill is already involved in starting a church here in the community of Martinsville. So one final question, Pastor Chidi, what do you hope to see happen with the ministry over the next five years with the Redeemed Church across the province? We are trusting God that um, the Lord will take us to the nakes and corners of the entire Saskatchewan. Our mandate is for Saskatchewan to win souls for Christ and to prepare them for the second coming of Christ. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much, Pastor Judy. And I want to... <clears throat> I want to say, and, and I, I, Jiddy, Pastor Jiddy, I, I speak, I, I'm sure on behalf of all of us, we are glad that you are here. Really glad. You know, and even as we interact, we have a student likewise that connects with us from Nova Scotia and from Nigeria. And just, uh, there, there's a vitality of faith there. There's a hope and there's an expectation that the Spirit of God will work. And those are uh, good pieces to really bring to our setting here. So we're glad you're here. So thank you very much, Pastor Jiddy. Thank you, sir.